Cool. Uh, well, so uh, one thing I do want to pull out from uh, Megan's talk is the understanding that we're in this very fortunate opportunity um, where we have an administration, as John talked about, um, that is receptive to understanding the intricacies and the delicacies of data and understanding explicitly when it, uh, the, the concerns about uh, individuals' privacy in the context of data and information. And it's, it's a great honor that we have, now I can slip to the slide over here, um, that we, we have a uh, noble character uh, that is uh, Amin Ra, which I love his name. Uh, uh, and it, it's been a, a great honor to have him come to New York City, uh, come up from the, the swamp that is Washington, D.C. Um, and uh, we're glad that he drained in the right direction up here. Um, and over the last few years, you know, it, uh, uh, I remember the, my very first meeting with Amin over at Metro Tech when he pulled uh, Chris Wong and Ariel Kinnan and I, uh, back when Chris and Ariel weren't working in the city, and he was emphatic. He's like, I haven't started my job yet, but I want to start working with you guys, and I want to start understanding you know, what we can do that's better to make this city uh, to stay the number one open data city in America. And you know, we're fortunate enough that the administration, the Bloomberg administration, took that as a serious concern. And you know, Andrew Nicklin is here, and there are some other counterparts that will be uh, around the day that put New York City number one. And then we were fortunate enough to have the su succeeding administration come in and make sure that they hired the right individual to make sure that New York City continues to be number one. Uh, and so it's been a great honor for the last few years to, to work with Amin Ra and his team and the team at Do It uh, to make sure that New York City is the number one open data city in the world, um, that we're iterating on practices around continuous integration um, and have an administration that is very sensitive to the understandings of what open data can do and what we need to do with it in the future. So with that, I'm going to ask uh, Amin to come up and say a few words. Thanks, Noel. Um, uh, you, you know, Noel is right, uh, yeah, but what he forgot to mention was the reason why I met with Noel was because when he made my announcement, he was right, I was in D.C., I won't call it a swamp. But um, I was in D.C., and when he made my announcement, um, uh, I had to create a Twitter account because I didn't have a Twitter account at the time. I had to create one for people to engage with me. Uh, and all these folks on Twitter, you know, congratulating me and blah, 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 blah. Noel was the only, uh, sent me uh, a, a, a message and said, congratulations, can we meet? Um, and uh, I went to Brooklyn Tech uh, for high school here in Brooklyn, and uh, uh, I was coming back, happened to be coming back for, uh, to talk to some of the students, and I was like, yeah, let's meet, I'll be in town. I hadn't started, it was like five or so days before my first day. Uh, so he, what he did mention was that he was, um, he reached out and said, let's, let's talk. Um, and so he was uh, uh, right on it. I think. With that being said, let me thank Noel for the invitation to come uh, uh, chat with you guys. Uh, uh, I also want to thank um, uh, the Open Data team. Um, he, Noel talked about uh, Adrian Schmoker and her uh, awesome and incredible and sort of unparalleled capabilities and skill sets. And uh, along with Adrian is uh, 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 Craig Campbell from out of Moda, who have really been, uh, and Dina Patel, who have been driving sort of open data. Uh, uh, part of the other part of open data team uh, is the Do It folks. Uh, Albert Weber, I think a lot of you guys may know, and, and, and uh, Rafael Carvalho uh, uh, and their team. But then also the other, the, third, the other third of the open data team that I don't think people know is part of that team are the uh, uh, open data coordinators. And those are the representatives uh, from the agencies that represent all things uh, open data. And so, so this is this uh, and all of next week is a way that we um, not only say thank you to the folks who have been keeping uh, New York City number one in open data, but also uh, 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 an opportunity for us to share with you some really uh, incredible stuff that Adrian and others have been working on. Um, and so we look forward to that. Let me do one other thing before I get into a, a really brief uh, uh, 
chat, and that is that um, I, I, there's this apocryphal story uh, that's been told uh, uh, around President Roosevelt and a civil rights leader named uh, A. Philip Randolph. And I don't know if some of you have heard it. I think Obama has mentioned it a couple of times. And the short story is that A. Philip Randolph went to the White House and sat in the Oval Office and ran down this litany list of things that he felt the president should do uh, in and around civil rights. And A. Philip Randolph was also a labor leader. Uh, and, you know, the president sat there, listened, uh, paid attention. Uh, and then at the end, he said, that sounds good. Now, uh, go out and make me do it, right? Um, uh, Such so as to say, your job is to um, um, uh, gather up the people, create the ideas, make the movement, and drive this thing. And I think um, to, that, to that extent, I think folks like John Caney, uh, Irene and Ben Albany, um, Noel, uh, and uh, a great few of others um, have really kept our feet to the fire uh, uh, and made us move in the direction uh, and at the pace uh, that's needed for New York City to stay uh, where it's at. Uh, and so they have uh, played their role in terms of um, making government do what it's supposed to do um, uh, and, and keeping us honest uh, and also sharing really innovative and thoughtful ideas. Uh, and so we're very thankful, John, um, for the role that you've played. Um, I remember my first meeting with John. Uh, and it was John and Dominic in uh, uh, 253 Broadway. And it was a, uh, I knew immediately um, uh, uh, that was going to not be my last meeting with John when I first met with him. And so um, we're thankful that you guys have played the role that you've played. Uh, and it's been an integral uh, and a particularly uh, important role. And let's say two things about. Uh, 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 this uh, 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 engagement today, School of Data. When I when I when I when I was asked to come talk, I I, I was trying to think about uh, what to talk about, uh, and I started to think about the word school. There's two definitions as I see it around the word school. Um, the first one is this concept of sort of teaching. Moda and do it and the open data team moving forward are thinking particularly different around open data uh, than we were years ago. Um, I am particularly concerned and quite bored with the conversation around all of the great things uh, with people standing up and talking about all of the great things open data uh, can do for people and not allowing and not giving the opportunity for people in this great city to engage with open data, use it, show how it changes and transforms their lives, and then giving them the opportunity to stand up and say, this is how open data has impacted me. I I've heard tons of times how open data saves lives, open data stops hunger, open data fixes all city problems all the time without someone from an underrepresented neighborhood in New York City standing up and saying, my name is so and so and this is how open data has impacted me positively. And so moving forward, um, uh, uh, I will be making it clear from my standpoint um, that that is a particular drive for us is to ensure that the people in this room and the people across New York City who use open data on a daily basis are using it to be impactful and teaching people, other people in New York City, how to use it so they can um, see the impact on their lives. Um, and so I think we can think about teaching uh, people uh, in certain areas of Brooklyn, Bronx, Manhattan, Upper Manhattan, Harlem, um, Staten Island, uh, Queens. And we need to uh, uh, expand how we think about data and how we think about open data and absolutely begin to think about how we can ensure, instead of you know, having these awesome events and talking about how open data saves lives, but actually engage 
and, sh and, and, and have the people who open data is meant to impact um, sit up and stand up and be representatives of open data. I should no longer be a representative of open data. Some young student who goes to Hostos Community College or Burr Manhattan Community College should be standing here next year and be the representative of open data and talk about the virtues and the capabilities of open data. The second term of uh, 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 definition of school is, you know, I'm born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, Bed-Stuy, and um, uh, when we talk about schooling someone, we talk about showing them how it's done, right? Uh, 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 really putting someone uh, in a position where they um, can learn from you and see how well you're doing something. I used to play basketball, play college baseball. I know the whole, I've been schooled on the basketball court before and I've done a little schooling myself. <laughs> we are seeing in the federal space, swamp if you will, <laughs> what life looks like when someone who doesn't have the, the sense of the power of data that we do, um, uh, uh, how it ch absolutely changes how a government uh, engages around data and open data. Uh, we've seen uh, data sets sort of just go away in minutes. Um, we've seen no true engagement and initiatives and, and thoughts around uh, 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 how to grow open data from a federal space. And we can sit here and we can wring our hands um, all day long about this, or New York City can step up and show DC and continue to show the rest of the world what a true open data uh, a driven government looks like that engages uh, New Yorkers and everyone that wants to engage that government. So I'm, I'm unconcerned with what's happening there. I'm concerned with what's happening here such that we school DC on what open data should be like. Right? Um, I have one other thing, but uh, I guess there's all of these uh, Twitter notices on my, whatchamacallit, <laughs> it, it covered my screen. I call myself cute and I put my notes on the wallpaper, but then over the course of the talk, uh, Twitter notices covered my wallpaper. All right. Um, <laughs> so I think the, the, the core uh, takeaway for us uh, here in New York City um, is just that we don't lead with data. Uh, we should be leading with people such that they can become leaders with data. And I, I want that to be the key takeaway of anything that's being uh, uh, said here. Um, it's about the people engaging them with the data such that they can be, uh, become leaders with data. All right. Thank you guys very much. <laughs>